have a baseball card collection. Now, I just started collecting baseball cards, and I have eight baseball cards. But you know what? I traded with a friend. I traded some of my baseball cards for some of his stamp collection. I need to give him three of my baseball cards. So these are the three I'm going to give him. And we can see that we have five left. Now, in Mortensen Math, we have two ways that we can show subtraction. One is that we can show that we have eight right here. But we have to give our friend three, because we owe our friend three for that trade with the stamps, right? So I can remove them. The other way I can show this, let me grab that runaway block, is by turning the blocks over. We use this side that's hollow to represent O. So this is what I have. This is what I owe. And I can write, we have eight, we owe three. And what does that mean? Well, these are the three that are going to be taken away, right? Those three will be taken away. It's very clear that we have five remaining. Let's take a moment and look at one of the smiley face subtraction books. Remember, subtraction books are yellow. And we can do the same sorts of things here that we did with the addition books. We can start out by having the child build a problem. Here, we have this many, and we owe this many. Here it's shaded to show that it's what's owed, and here it's hollow. Well, let's see, we have three, and we owe two. This is the one with the smiley face. Let's build the bottom one. We have this many, and we owe this many. We have five, we owe one, and here it is. Now, Sometimes children get tired of handling all these individual little blocks, so they may do something different. Let's look at page two. On page two, instead of grabbing those four separate blocks, they may start to pick these up, and that's okay. When they're ready to start using them, let's let them use them. So here we have four, we owe one, that's this one, and they draw their smiley face. I hope you can see how this program works together. They start out by counting. Think for a minute about a young child, a five-year-old. If you were to ask a five-year-old, what is math, what would they say? They'd probably say numbers, right? And they're fascinated by numbers. And what do you do with numbers? You count them, right? We define, Mortensen, we define math as just counting in Mortensen. Why do we do this? Because if we make math something very basic, something that children can really understand, they have no fear of it. And they go on to discover the power, the logic, the beauty, and the pattern of mathematics. Let me give you an example. Here's another topic. Think of geometry. How can we define geometry as counting? Well, what shape is this? It's a square. How do you know it's a square? One, two, three, four. You count the sides. Well, is that all that makes it a square? The sides have to be equal, right? How do we know the sides are equal? We can measure them. And measuring is just a fast form of counting. Now, there's one other thing that makes this a square. It has right angles, angles that are 90 degrees. How do I know they're 90 degrees? I measure them, again, a fast form of counting. So we look at math as just counting and define it that way. 
and you will see as you work with it how this unifies our topic.